All right, oh. now we're going to do our quid et quo with a part of our sentence. We're not going to do it all today. Marcus, read our sentence here. Uh, he who believes in Jesus will never die. He who believes in Jesus will never die. Okay, so we notice who believes in Jesus as a dependent clause, right? So let's just do this part first. He will never die. Who will never die? He. Subject. He. Pronoun. Pronoun. What's being said about he? Will. Will is our verb. Will what? Never die. Die. Right, so die is another verb. And what's never then? Uh, adjective. Adverb. That, because yeah. it tells us, yeah, it's a negative adjective, right? Yeah. It tells us, like, how yeah. often? Never, right? Okay, so who believes in Jesus? Who or what believes in Jesus? Subject. Who oh, is our subject, yes. <laughs> Noun or pronoun? Uh, pronoun. It's a relative pronoun. Okay, so adjectival clauses. Who? Who believes, who believes is a verb. <laughs> Whatever believes is a verb. And it's an intransitive verb because in Jesus is what? P O P. P and O P. Great. Okay, so one oh. word at a time. Oh. oh, P and O P, sorry. One word at a time. He, is it a noun? Pronoun. It's a pronoun. It's so <laughs> he is a pronoun. Is It's a nominative pronoun. What is the case or what is the person? Is that first person? Second person or third person? Uh, second. Second. Nope. It's yeah. not second. Third, I, third. you, he, she, it. Third, third, so third. So it's third. Yep. He, she, it, or any proper noun would be third. So it's third person. Is he singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Very good. And is he masculine or feminine? Masculine. Yeah, absolutely. Masculine. All right, what about who? Is who a noun or pronoun or uh, verb? Pronoun, or pronoun, pronoun. Pronoun, <laughs> pronoun, 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 pronoun. Yes. Um, who is also acting like a nominative pronoun here? Um, I'm it's just going to give you that one. Still third. Because it's like, because. I'm not sure what to do with that. Let's, is who singular or plural? Singular. Singular, yep. Because we know that because it's replacing he, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, who is generally not masculine or feminine, but it is replacing a masculine it's neuter now. Um, so we know that. Okay, what about beliefs? Uh, it's a verb. Believes is a verb. Very good. Um, oh, mom. Ooh, sorry, you don't like that noise? Our verb is it intransitive, transitive, Trans linking, or intransitive. Helping. Intransitive. I don't have a song about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Transitive, transitive, transitive. Is it past, present, or future? Past, present. What would it be if it was? It's past? all of them. Well, he who believes. Okay, he's doing it now, so it's present. Right. Yesterday I believed. Right now I believe, or he believes. In the future I will believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's present. Mm -hmm. it's Okay, is it singular or plural? I don't know, you're the teacher. Oh, really? Sorry, Sorry. it's a... Uh, we singular. match it with our, with the noun, yeah, right? So, so it has yeah. to be singular, yeah? And is it first, second, or third person? Well, we have to match it with the noun, right? So it would also be third person. Good. Um, let's see, the mood, it's active and indicative for those of you doing the detailed quid et quo, but we're not quite there yet right now. Oh, in is what? The word in is a preposition. Very good. And we're just going to go check. It's a preposition. What about the word Jesus? It's the object of the preposition, so it does go with our prepositional phrase. But is Jesus itself, is it a noun, pronoun? It's a noun. It's a, it's noun. a noun. That's right. Is it singular or plural? How many Jesus is? Rice. Right. Rice. Right. Right. Is it common or proper? Common. No. Proper. Proper. Sorry. Yes, capital letter, proper. Okay. And is it concrete, abstract, collective, or compound? It's not collective, it's not compound. Is it concrete or abstract? Is Jesus concrete or abstract? Concrete, because he was man. Very good. All right, let's go with concrete. Okay. I know that's a debatable question, but we're going to go with concrete today. Because it's Jesus. No, it's, it's, about, it's debatable about God, because... True, but you're right. Jesus took on our flesh. Okay. Will, Will is... is verb. Verb. Is it, is a verb. Yeah, will is a verb. Is it yeah. transitive, intransitive, linking, or helping? The helping. Helping. Excellent. Helping. Oh. Um, is it past, present, or future? If we say he will never die, is that past, present, or future? I'm going to go with past, present, future. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so we will never die. That's future. Okay. Okay, I did okay. never die. It would be past. I never die today. It would be present. Never die. 
I, I, yeah, I don't know. I never died. It would that would be past. We wouldn't need a help. He never died. He I never, never died. died. I never died. Did that would be past. I never died. Did. Died it is not a word. Okay, yeah, but, but will saying. die is future, right? So in the future, he who believes in Jesus will never die. Future. Yep. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is it singular or plural? Remember, singular. we have to look at our subject here. Yep. Singular. It's third person. And it's third person because it goes with he. Excellent. All right. What's never? Whoa. I don't know. Oh, it's we an ad. ad. It's an ad yeah. verb. We haven't done a lot of these. Ad verb. Yes, it's ever week. All right. Is it Positive. simple, flexional, affirmative, or negative? Wait, actually, it's. Wow. Negative. It's negative. It's Good. Because we're saying he will never die. Negative. Awesome. And then die is a command. Command? <laughs> no. It's Zero. not imperative. It's a verb. Yes. And is die helping, linking, intransitive, transitive? Intransitive. Intransitive. Yeah, because yeah, there's nothing after it, right? It's got to be intransitive. And there's a period. And we already discussed that it's future. He who believes will never die in the future, right? Yeah. Is it singular or plural? Singular. Okay. And is it first, second, or third person? Third. Third. Excellent. Great. So read our sentence one more time. Uh, wait, is, is it a true sentence? Is it a true sentence? What do you think? He who believes yes. in Jesus will never die. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Peter is pathetic. That's a true sentence. Marcus, come on. And fine. He who believes in Jesus will never die. All right. Thank you for your help, Marcus. Say goodbye. <laughs>